In this video, we're going to take a look at the chat feature. Um, the chat feature is a really nice way to get a conversation going uh, between your students. Uh, a couple different things you can do with this. You could actually have the chat going on in your classroom um, while the students were, say, working on something else. You may have them discuss an essential question or something like that. You can also extend the discussion uh, outside of the classroom uh, when after the class is over um, by allowing your students to access the chat uh, say as a homework assignment or something along those lines. Um, the advantage of the chat feature is that it's a, a good way to have a quick conversation, uh, kind of quick back and forth and log what everybody's saying um, in, in one spot if you will. Uh, the drawback of it is is that you cannot grade it. It doesn't have a feature where you can grade the responses of the students per se. Um, and it's not really designed to be something that's uh, recorded if you will. Um, for example, if we were to use the forum feature instead of the chat feature, the forum feature can be graded. It's built into Moodle to where it's it's formally graded. Also, uh, the the forum allows you to do a lot more, say, in terms of uh, uh, posting pictures and web links and and really getting more in depth in terms of answers. So, depending on how you want to use what you're looking for, what kind of discussion you want to have uh, going in your class, uh, chat may or may not be the way to go. Let's go ahead and show you how to set up a, a chat real quick. We'll go ahead and turn editing on first. Scroll down to add an activity and we're going to go to chat. I'm going to name this uh, chat room or chat if you will. Just world history and you may put a, a central question or something that reinforces a topic that you're uh, working with that day. Uh, in this case, I'll just uh, put just something like that. Now you have some settings here that you can uh, adjust. Um, you can set up a chat time to where the chat will be open. Um, you can repeat this session um, or have it repeat at the same time each day, same time each week, uh, each week uh, however you want to set it up. Um, you can save the past sessions for a set number of days um, and you can set it to where people can view past sessions uh, so on and so forth and these are the standard group mode settings here you can set those as to, to how you want uh, depending on what you're doing in your class when you have it the way you like it just click uh, save and return to course okay this is what it will look like for both you and your students uh, the chat will be here this is the icon for chat I'll click on World History. Uh, by clicking on this right here, it will uh, take me into the discussion. And then you just start chatting. As you can see, this, this is a nice thing to just kind of have run in the background of whatever it is you might be doing that day. You, you're really probably going to get closer to more... Uh, the kind of text message responses, if you will, uh, from your students if you use this feature. Uh, again, because it is such a quick way to have a discussion. Um, so this is how you uh, use chat. Um, again, you can decide if this is something that's good for your class, um, depending on what you're doing in, uh, in class that day.